Howdy. Small disclaimer at the start of this video. I do not encourage or promote the use of thermal imaging for recreationally hunting salmon deer, particularly out in the Alpine National Park and state forests. What you do out on your private property in name of pest control or population control or protection of livelihood, that's all you. And that is where this technology does play its part. However, in the name of fair chase, we do not condone it out in the bushes. I only come near because my car's up there. <laughs> Detecting cattle, 500 quite easy. Swinging around into the ruse, mobba kangaroos, that's quite good. This is late afternoon. That's the kangaroos we're looking at, and we have some cattle down along the fence. Sam and deer. 300 metres away. <laughs> I'm rushing a bit, but that's a samba. I'm going to go and put a hole in him. <laughs> Alright, we've just had a crack at that samba down in there, and just going to. Just whack that samba. It's just dying. Beautiful. Dead thermal. To see if it's dead there. I saw it dancing, so it looks like it'd be dead. I just don't want to get away while it's dark, so I'll sneak him with the thermal on. Pretty sure that's it laying in the centre of the screen. Cattle around rocks. Just as the sun's gone down, one last light, and this deer's come right out of the bush. So that's pretty cool. Happy days. Can't see him, so we'll switch to thermal. Look at that. Just there. Amazing. And they just come out of that bush up in there. He's dead. Just got the night vision going. It's getting a bit late. Sun's gone down. 
just late enough this guy to walk out 20 minutes before dark well time to pack up head back to the car we'll come back here tomorrow and cut him up there's a deer kangaroo a deer maybe a wombat a whole lot Yeah, they do. Quite a few. I gotta come near you because my car's up there. <laughs> Holy echo. Holy echo. They're all deer. It's a fucking lot of deer. They're right near me. That's crazy. I'm just dusting this 35 wheeling off. It's a Ruger Hawkeye M77 Mark II. I've got a Z, 3 to 9 by 42 on the top. And that seems to work pretty well for what this gun does. It doesn't get too much run these days because it's like rather heavy, particularly owning a Kimber. But that'll do it to a lot of guns. So I'm just about to sight in some 250 grain nozzle partitions. So stay tuned for that and we'll get into that shortly. What I am here to talk about is this little phone. You guys might have seen it on a cup on a little teaser video. It is the AGM G2 Guardian. And this is the phone that has the thermal imaging in it. What an idea. What a phone. Smartphone someone might say. I just wanted to give a little bit of an opinion and my two bob on this thing. What I have found is that for such a compact, little, useful, handy phone that has the ability to thermal, for what it is, it's quite good. Uh, they claim that you would see a person out to 500 metres. I haven't been able to quite get that at 500, but 400, we can pick up people, no worries. The heat signature. As you'll see in this video, we've also picked up cattle, which is a large, warm beast, out at 500 metres and sometimes even further. It has no problems picking up deer out to 300, 400 metres, depending on the terrain it is. I've only used this on private property, clear open grassland, when the deer have come out at night time. You will see a hunt here where we were glassing in the afternoon and a Sam stag did come out of the bush a little bit earlier than he probably should have and with wanting to show this off we're able to get a bit of heat signature at distance and put a hole in said deer. AGM have gone above and beyond I think to put so much technology into the cam into a camera on a phone. It's a little heavy but possibly no heavier than these new iPhones and stuff these days. I'm not into the smartphone game and I'm coincidentally not into thermal imaging so it's kind of random that I've been able to have reviewed this phone for AGM and I believe if you're in a situation for hunting where you're not trying to scan 
kilometers away as most do with handheld thermal gear today if you're set up on the edge of the property or over some sort of bait station this would pick up foxes rabbits all the way up to your deer I plan on doing a little bit of sit and waiting over the summer warmer months on wild dogs particularly I think this would be really handy just to get an idea if, if they're out there and then hitting them with a light and whacking them which is what most of you buggers are doing with the deer anyway the thermal scopes are a little bit expensive so everyone that I've talked to appears to be scouting or scanning with the monocular and shooting under torchlight still one thing I've found with this phone is the battery life is phenomenal one thing I'm very very surprised with actually was able to do a whole bunch of nights and days just messing around in the backyard with the thermal camera on and it's there is no shortage of battery life AGM mentioned that it should pick up a person from about 500 meters away and we're getting pretty close to that from some testing but at the time of testing I wasn't too up to date with the focus functions and many other functions of the phone you can change quite a few settings and that will that will change what you're seeing and what the Im thermal imaging is retracting back to you so briefly in short if you're doing close work if you're doing close range work um, sitting and waiting particularly or over bait stations this little phone scanning would be quite a handy little item to then hit with a torch and shoot said fox or dog using this next to a handheld monocular of common brand it is chalk and cheese those specific handheld monoculars are picking up and can see considerable kilometers whereas this little sensor in here is not as strong obviously so if you're in the market for a new smartphone it'd be pretty hard to go past the AGM G2 Guardian they're available on the website which is linked to link in the description below I'd just like to thank AGM for giving us the opportunity to test this it was a bit of an eye opener for me I was stoked to have got the opportunity to have tested and reviewed such an item it's not something I would personally buy however I know there's many of you tech heads out there that would get a real kick out of a thermal imaging phone such as this so till then time for me to get back inside pack up the hunting gear get ready to go out another backpack hunt catch up with you soon let's go hunting